Hello everybody and welcome to the first part of the Champions League jersey review as you see and you've probably seen in the preview that I made on the weekend. My daughters and I we came up with a nice set mixing scarves and shirts. I hope you like that one and I'm going to do it group by group and you will see I'll do a video per group and I'm planning to start with group A but I might not um, do it all alphabetically. Um, I'm just gonna see how it's gonna happen. I'm planning for now alphabetically but it might not happen alphabetically. So let's go right to it. Group A where we start off with Atletico de Madrid and one of the worst jerseys of the entire European club season. Um, if you watch it in play, it doesn't look as bad, but I still with the fade here and, um, and uh, you know, five stripes on top, but only four on the bottom. It's just an, a huge mess. Um, if I squint at it, I admit it doesn't look as horrible, but if you look at it fully, I just can't look, I cannot look past this. Um, I was maybe harsh in my La Liga preview, uh, giving it one star, but I still want to go one star here because it just doesn't work for me. I will be curious about the red back, whether this is retained or we see the same pattern. No, we have new UEFA guidelines and of course there's the Spanish flag on the back. The away jersey though, I like quite some. Uh, I gave it six stars in my original review. I like that it's the light blue. You have the crest there. You have the red. Uh, again, you have the on the back, the Spanish flag. You have this pattern. It looks a little bit like a Manchester City jersey, but I think it's really a smart design um, that contrasts well with the home jersey and uh, adds a new color in a way. So uh, that one I do like. It's not the most exciting one, but I think I like it a lot. I wish that the crest was still the old one. I think the new one um, I find a little bit too monochromatic. It's just the uh, blue on top and then the white and the red. I think the original was one was a little bit more colorful and nicer. I think I have it even somewhere here. Where is it? Back. Here it is. There you have at least the bear and the tree. I like that one better than the current one. But it's not, to be honest, it's not too much change if I look at it. One jersey that we haven't looked at so far is, of course, the third jersey. And that one, yeah, like all Nike kits, it's a little bit of a mess. Uh, the Nike third kits, they try to put the photograph of the city that the team comes from, in this case, Madrid. It is centered on the Neptune fountain, which is where the Atletico fans are celebrating. And all is nice and good, but then they put a striping pattern in there that again puts this fade. Uh, you ha or maybe not, maybe it is. I think now they are the lighter stripes are light, but they get darker towards the top. So the top of the jersey is darker than the bottom. So it's not exactly the fade. And uh, actually with the street map view that's on there, it's a little bit confusing. The choice of color, I'm sorry, uh, doesn't comes out of, out of nowhere, honestly. If this was blue or, I mean, it is kind of a bluish, but this was some red, and then um, I think I could understand it better. And then in addition, you have the orange. <sighs> I think the best thing I like here is that the, the city map, but that's because I'm a little bit of a geography freak. Uh, the other thing I like is that the orange taping has the trident of Neptune. And yeah, we have again a plain back. I'm very curious to see if they can wear this like that. I think this pattern needs to continue striped on the back. There needs to be some striping. Uh, whether it's the photograph on the front or not, I would say that. Also, I don't like the monochromatic crest. I think the color choice is the worst thing here. Uh, it is it is similarly a mess like the home jersey, but there is. I want to give a little bit more leeway here, honestly. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this two stars, but it's not much more. Then, uh, one of the big opponents in this group for Atletico Madrid, of course, will be Borussia Dortmund. 
And when I did my Bundesliga video, I said that this is my uh, the home shirt. No, it is not. This is the Champions League home shirt, which is yellow with the black stripe, very similar to Milan. And I said it this morning in my review when I first saw the Milan um, away jersey. What I don't like on this one is that although this uh, stripe continues on the sleeves, it doesn't match up. And that's, I think, a missed opportunity. You really could have it go all across and it doesn't look a bit so. It looks a little bit detached from the rest, especially since it goes around. I think you could really have made it go all around. Also, the collar, just make it all black. Don't have it just here on the shoulders. And uh, as always with Dortmund, why do we have the pink sponsor here? But other than that, I think uh, this looks much better for Dortmund than it does for Milan. And for that reason, I think I gave it eight stars. Also, um, yeah, that uh, stripe continues the back is nice, but this uh, division between name and number is a little bit weird. And of course, the font is also horrible. But I think for Dortmund, this works way better than for Milan. And for that reason, I'm willing to give this uh, eight stars. And I also give eight stars to the away jersey, which actually I like a lot. The black, the, the white, maybe the sponsor if it, was, if it wasn't white, but uh, yellow, that would fit. I also like, the, I mean, it looks a little bit like captain's armbands, but there is something there that makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, I think the texture here is probably not a photographic uh, print, but if this was the yellow wall, that would be an absolute gorgeous thing. But this way, I think the club crest gets a little bit lost on the pattern, but still, I think this is a good idea. So I give this eight stars. And now I also found this jersey here, um, which could be the goalkeeper of the third jersey. If it's, I assume that this is a third jersey, if I find out there's something else, of course, let you know, and then I retract my uh, review, but because a third jersey, uh, a goalkeeper jersey, I don't review. This is brownish uh, red, which would make sense because the original stadium for Dwarf Sotman was the Rote Erde, so the Red Earth uh, Stadium. So some leave it there, but honestly, it's not a good jersey. I don't know, you know, you have, like most of the Puma shirts at the World Cup, you have this upper section here with some yellow dots, and then you have a little bit of a pattern. Yeah, I don't know. It's not entirely horrible, uh, not Atletico Madrid horrible, I gotta say, but it's not great either. So for me, this is a four star, cannot go more. And then there's a third team that could threaten and that's Monaco. And they have a really interesting home jersey with this color gradient in the red um, part, which I actually think I, I like. The more I look, look at it, I just wish it would um, one sleeve, the left sleeve would also be. A red one uh, but yeah overall I think I gave this seven stars I'm gonna stick with that and I think I like the back even better also although I'm curious how they will apply the number on there but this color gradient is a really nice feature that I'm gonna look forward to this is uh, it adds a little bit something to a very classic uh, pattern again make the shoulders connect at least make one sleeve red but then I don't know about the UEFA club regulations, whether they like that. Uh, the away jersey, so this I give seven. The away jersey, I think I gave five stars. It looks classy, but I don't see why green has any connection with Monaco. Uh, and even the taping on the back doesn't do anything. Uh, there is some classiness to it, but I think it would work more like a golf shirt or something like that. It doesn't work for me as a soccer shirt for some reason. Um, if there was more green in the Monaco, I could probably live with it, but there is just something that, and maybe I just don't get it, but I gave this a five and I'm gonna stick with it. And now the small team in this group is of course FC Brugge from Belgium, which have a nice uh, black and blue home jersey in the colors, but you know Brugge, I actually have some sympathies for, to be honest. And yeah, it's a nice Macron sh uh, shirt with the uh, rugby style collar. Uh, maybe here the, what both bugs means that it's kind of inflated with this very uh, just a human uh, model. Uh, but I think the uh, template all over is okay. Maybe I wish, would wish for a little bit thinner stripes or 
even make them wider in a way. Um, the striping is a little bit off for me. I honestly don't have now anything in mind. I like that the black stripe is in the center, but I think it's a, I think it should be a little bit thinner for my liking. So, uh, but the blue sleeves, I think that's okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this for seven stars. The uh, away jersey, and I assume that this is the away jersey, we have a away and a third jersey, I don't get. Yes, the best thing is that it's contrast, but um, why red? Maybe it's the color of the city of Brigger, please let me know in the comments below. Um, for what it is, I mean, there is some niceness to it with these uh, hoops and then the blue separating them, but again, it doesn't run around with the regulations. I'm going to look for that in the white list. It just seems also for Brügge, to be honest. For that, I'm going to give this four star, although I think the overall pattern is nice. And then lastly, the third jersey, which makes a little bit more sense, but I don't like the monochromatic crest. It kind of takes the black and makes it lighter, takes the blue and makes it lighter. Makes more sense, but it's not a better jersey. I'm also going to stick with this four. Well, let me know what you thought about these jerseys, uh, which ones you like, which ones you dislike. Let me know if I miss anything on these jerseys. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon with the next group.